Okay, so today I thought I'd talk about why I advocate a resource-based economic model as proposed by the Zeitgeist Movement and the Venus Project. Well, for a start, I grew up in Northern Ireland uh, and I grew up in a non-political, non-religious family and so the sort of tribal politics of Northern Ireland never really made much sense to me because on the one hand you have the Unionists and the DUP talking a lot of shite and on the other hand, you have the Sinn Féin and the Irish Nationalists talking about a shite. And none of that ever really appealed to me. It just seemed to be um, a lot of unnecessary violence, a lot of unnecessary hatred. Um, like I said, kind of tribal politics, very primitive. And, and it seemed to be kind of a, a violent cycle which fed into itself. So the, new, the, the stance that I decided to take was to step back and not take part in it. So I've always been... Um, kind of a strict atheist and very much disenfranchised from local politics. Um, when I was growing up, the only thing that really had much impact on me was science. Uh, my granddad used to um, be a, a fervent admirer of the science and the scientific method. He used to collect fossils and uh, was very fascinated by space exploration. So it always rubbed on on me that um, the thing that has really progressed us most as a species is science. Now science is very different from politics and religion because politics and religion is in the game of telling people what they want to hear. You know, so if you're a politician, you know, if you say the right slogans and say the right things, you know, you can get elected, you know, basically by just talking a little shite. Um, and religion is pretty much the same thing. Religion just, you know, if you lose your job or something horrible happens to you, you know, religious people just say, oh, just pray and, you know, everything will be all right. Um, science, on the other hand, is in the business of, you know, not talking bullshit. Um, it creates models of predictable feedback from the natural world. And as a result, you know, every, everything in the modern civilization that we have, from understanding how the natural world works, to having, um, you know, rockets that can go into space, to this video camera, has come about through science and sci the scientific method. And this is... Um, you know, scientists t essentially do tell the truth. They don't, you know, if, you, if you're if you a scientist, you're not going to say, well, the Earth is kind of round and it's kind of flat just to kind of make people happy. No, you say it's round and here's the evidence. Here's the observable, factual evidence that we have. So, yes, yeah, so science has pretty much produced everything. Religion doesn't produce anything. Religion produces false hope, false understanding, uh, false morality, and is just a little shite. Politics doesn't produce anything. Politics is there essentially uh, as a compensation for the uh, the haphazard and unscientific method we have for resource distribution. Um, if if the, the system actually worked on a tangible and physical level, we wouldn't really need laws because people would have their needs met and people would, you know, society would function in a sort of productive way. But because people don't have their needs met in their current system, laws are made then to essentially silence the victims of that inefficiency. Laws also happen to work in the the ruling class, they, they tend to reflect ruling class values. And so that's why all social change throughout history has been brought about by social movements and people challenging the status quo. So science is the way forward and resource, the resource-based economic model is essentially the application of the scientific method for social concern. One of the things that got me really questioning uh, the current system and thinking more towards a resource-based economic model started in my days of working in a recording studio uh, because there was a job I used to do there where I used to duplicate CDs, put them in a CD box and put the cover in. But I was obviously part of the younger generation that had grown up with the internet and been part of the Napster revolution, you know, the ability to upload and download music for free. And so I started to question, you know, why does this job still exist? It, it seems a bit strange that People should still have to do this boring, uh, monotonous, repetitive job all day when all you can do now is just upload the, the file for free and people can download it. It wasn't until I watched the documentaries Zeitgeist Addendum and Zeitgeist Moving Forward where these ideas began to make a lot more sense to me. And I really began to question what the point of society is. I mean, is the point of society to have it function on a sustainable, efficient level and to create abundance in order to reduce uh, unnecessary conflict and unnecessary human suffering? Or is the point of society just to create jobs, no matter how pointless they are, in order to keep the system going? 
Because it seems to me that you can't have both. The, the two are diametrically opposed. I mean, if we were to um, create a, a sustainable society um, in the current system, then it would collapse because it thrives on the complete opposite. It's very clear to me that we're moving towards a technologically advanced networked society, uh, which will begin to challenge many of the old traditionalized structures that we've had up until now. Um, the internet has revolutionized the media industry. It's revolutionized the way we sort of share information and hence brought about a more collaborative uh, society. And the next big technology to come out will be 3D printing, which will bring about the common ownership of the means of production, which will literally turn capitalism upside down. And so we need to embrace this change because at the end of the day, I think it'll bring about a lot more prosperity and probably a lot more innovation because in the current system there's a tendency to keep ideas private in order to make money out of them whereas if we just open sourced all information online then people can sort of collaborate and more ideas will basically come about. I mean the most exa obvious example would be Wikipedia. Wikipedia is just a completely open source program uh, or a website which people have contrib uh, contributed to. So that's why I advocate a resource based economic model. So Go check out Zeitgeist Moving Forward and the Zeitgeist Movement and the Venus Project. Uh, peace, motherfucker.